Hello, it's Rob Cornish. I hope you're well. In this video, we're going to walk through creating a very simple sales funnel using GrooveSell. And at the end of the video, there's also a free resource for you, which I think you'll find very helpful. So stick around for that as well. First of all, let's take a look at the advantages and disadvantages of GrooveSell. First of all, it's 100% free to sign up. You don't even need any payment method. You can just sign up and get all the features that I'm going to show you in this video for free. Secondly, there are zero transaction fees. So many shopping carts, many platforms will take a small chunk, of just a percentage point, say, from each sale that you make. Now, over the years in my business, I've paid tens of thousands of dollars in these tiny little transaction fees because, of course, they add up over time. So not having to have these having zero transaction fees is a major advantage. It might not feel like it at the start, but over time, it's really a, a big saving. Finally, and this is a really important one, it has a built-in, ready-to-go affiliate platform, which means that you can accept traffic from affiliates, from anyone, any marketing partner you want to work with, who can recommend your product or service to their audience in return for a commission on each sale they make. Extremely powerful traffic source. It's warm traffic because it's endorsed and it's recommended. It tends to be very high converting, very, very powerful. What about the drawbacks of GrooveSell? Well, it's currently in beta. As I film this video, you'll see shortly, uh, lots of uh, features say coming soon. Um, and the documentation or the tutorials are there are there are they are there, but they're probably not as well fleshed out as you would ideally like. Obviously, the platform is developing, so things might look slightly different at different times, and so on. It's in beta. First, uh, secondly, it's not as flexible or developed really as Thrivecart or comparables to Thrivecart. Now, personally, in my business, this is what I use. I think it's a fantastic shopping cart. The rate of development is superb. And that company, Thrivecart, that's all they do, right? They just focus on their shopping cart, essentially. So it's really focused and, and great stuff. But Thrivecart is a one-time fee for a lifetime license, which is several hundred dollars. And finally, the rate of development is uncertain. GrooveSell is part of a suite of tools called Groove Funnels and lots of other uh, different applications. So whether the uh, team behind it will keep up development on all these tools, including GrooveSell, to a really high standard in the future, we just don't know. So it's well worth considering if you are working to a tight budget. GrooveSell will allow you to get your product or service up online and accept sales from any traffic source, including affiliates and JV partners. I'm not aware of any other platform, either now or throughout my uh, time online since 2010, that, that has all these features for free. It, so it's quite remarkable in that respect. In a nutshell, if you have the budget, I would always recommend Thrivecart. It's brilliant. And I have a bonus package if you're interested in that. I'll put a link in the description. But if you aren't ready for that and you are, your budget is tight, then GrooveSell is well worth considering. You've got nothing to lose by signing up. Now, the link below will take you to this page and you can see at the top, they're giving this away free at the moment and uh, for a lifetime account. Um, you can get more details, uh, take a look at the video, all the stuff uh, there, but uh, that's where you sign up, first of all. And what we're going to create in this video is this setup. So we've got a very simple sales page. I'm just gonna keep things as simple as possible, but also point out some more advanced options as we go through. So this is a quick sales page, literally with a headline um, for a generic product, imaginary product, and the buy button. When we click the buy button, it goes through to the Groove Sell uh, cart. And then if we fill out some test information here, we can go ahead and complete the purchase. So the money is taken, any affiliate that has referred this sale will get paid on the terms that you set. And we get taken to, again, a very, very simple uh, thank you page. Again, which you can have on your website and there's different configurations. Let's take a look at how this is done. 
Now, when you first log in, you'll see this suite of different products and services that they offer. So there's all these different things. This is why they are giving it away free because they're giving you Groove Cell and hoping at some stage you will upgrade to um, Groove Mail or Groove Men Member or Groove Pages. You don't have to, of course. Um, you can just ignore that if you want to or take a look at it if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. But we're focusing here on Groove Cell, which is the shopping cart functionality. So let's take a look. Um, and first of all, we want to go down to Funnels. Now I have a test funnel set up already that I've been playing around with, but let's create a brand new one. So I'm gonna go up to new product funnel at the top and I'm gonna give it a, uh, a name here. So a very generic name, let's create the product funnel. And then within that product funnel, we can have multiple products. You will always have a front end product, that's the immediate sale that you make. And if you want to, optionally, you can have upsells and downsells uh, that follow on from that. We're not gonna bother with those, but I'll show you where the options are to create those. So what we wanna do is go and edit this funnel. So what we're gonna do is click on this button here and you can see that it's set up as a number of steps along the top. So let's go through each step and I'll point out a few things as we go along. We wanna focus, as we said, on front-end product. Um, of course, you can come back and create another product as an upsell and downsell. It's really the same process. So we'll go save and next and onto the pricing. So let's call the, uh, the price point uh, one time uh, $97. And we've got a number of options here for recurring or installments. If you do recurring, you can offer a trial, all sorts of stuff, but we're gonna keep it simple and just say $97 for this. And then we will go on to the next step. Oh, we need a description. So we'll just put that in there and we'll go on to step three. Now this is about gateways, in other words, the the process the payment processing method the two most popular ones will be paypal or um, stripe uh, is another very popular one um, which will process credit cards so for for this test what i'm going to do is select credit card and i've already added um, a stripe test account to show you uh, how this works if you want to set those up, you can go up to set up gateways here um, and uh, plug in your Stripe account, which is free to get, or your PayPal account, which is free to get, and you can just select them here. So here, first of all, we're going to go to um, Stripe test account, and I want 100% of the sales on this product to go through this payment method. If you want to spread the risk across different payment processors, you can add more so for example i could go to my main stripe account which i use for my business and i could put 50 percent of sales through that and 50 percent through this one a bit more advanced but it is available we're going to just keep it simple and go for 100 percent there and we'll go on to the next step now in contents what we need to do is basically just specify the sales page which is where people land uh, if they've come from one of your traffic methods like paid traffic or from some content marketing or they've come through uh, an affiliate link, uh, somebody is recommending your product or service to their audience in return for commissions you offer, then this is where they will land. So we need our sales page. Now, as I've shown you, I've just knocked these up very quickly in Thrive Architect, uh, which I love, highly recommend that. Um, and uh, we also need a thank you page. Again, very similar thing. So we'll put that in there and that's it. All right, refund period, you can adjust. We'll just keep it at zero, but you could, well, you could do 30 if you wanted to, and then we'll proceed to the next step. Now, here's where we start seeing the coming soons, which I mentioned before, but this Groove Cell hosted checkout is absolutely fine for really anything that you want to sell. Now, there are limited options for the look and feel right now. I believe this is gonna be enhanced as well. You can upload a product image. You can choose under form fields what you collect. So we will probably just collect the, the very basic information. You could also add a custom field if there's something particular that you want to collect from your customers. And there are many other 
uh, options up here as well. Uh, a lot of which are coming soon. So I think testimonials is coming soon. Exit pop is um, coming soon. Cart abandonment, I think this is actually live now. So in other words, if people put in their email address but then abandon the cart before payment, you could follow up with them uh, with your autoresponder or your email system. So we're not gonna do that here, but there are you know, additional options um, that you might like to consider. Let's go on to the next step. And here at the moment, we only have one option. Uh, there is, um, coming soon, the option of a bump offer, which are really effective. I'd highly recommend that you um, consider those. Um, and th those are like little, um, uh, check boxes on the order page where people can with one click of the mouse they can add something extra to their order uh, they can be really really effective but at the moment you can't do that in groove cell so let's save and go to the next step and in the funnel what we want to do here is just simply select our thank you page if we did have upsells uh, that we wanted to present, then we could use the drop down menu to select those products that we've already created. But here we're just going to go through to the thank you page. So, again, we'll go on to the eighth step here, which is fulfillment, and keep it really simple. Um, I'm just going to do this first option, which is all I can choose at the moment, but I am going to add them to my autoresponder, my email system, which I use Active Campaign for. Um, so, here I can just click on Add New Integration, and I can select Active Campaign, which I've already uh, integrated in the, in the system. Um, I'm going to uh, put them on my master list. You could create a specific list, for, for example, for your um, product. It looks at the moment that you can only add customers to a list rather than tag them as well, which is uh, you know, something, for example, in Thrivecart that you can do, and you can do all sorts of fancy things there. This is more basic, at least at this stage, but it's fine because you could still get people onto that, that list if you wanted to. So that's fine, add integration, and uh, we will go to the next step. Now here we can select whether we want to allow affiliates to promote our product in return for a commission. We certainly do want to do that. So I'm gonna check that box and choose a 50% commission there. You can also do second tier commissions. So for example, if one of your existing affiliates refers somebody else who makes sales, then you can Give, give them a reward. So maybe we'll do 20% there. Uh, there's other configurations here. You can set up um, uh, uh, tools to help affiliates promote and give them, say, swipe email copy, uh, banners, all sorts of uh, resources that will help encourage them and make it, their life easier in promoting your product. Um, I'm not gonna go through these um, actually in this video because we really wanna keep it simple. The main thing is that you can do that and the power of having that affiliate platform is really quite significant. So let's go on to save and next and we're on to step 10, which is proof. And this has got nothing there at the moment. It's just coming soon um, and save and next. So finally, what we need to do is just add this tracking code into the product's sales page. Now that's very easy to do. We can just click copy here and go over to Thrive Architect. This will be very similar in any page builder that you use. But here I'm gonna click settings uh, and go to advanced settings to scripts. And in the body section, I'm just gonna do control V or command V on a Mac and just save this. So we are done. And then we can just go to save and exit. So let's go back to the product funnels and we've got a new uh, funnel that we've set up just with one product in it and it's in draft mode. We can make that live just down here and this funnel now is ready to go. So um, I'm gonna choose my subdomain uh, for this. So um, I'll click and we are ready to go ahead and test this funnel. I'm not gonna do that because I showed you that actually earlier on in the video. What I would like to show you though are how affiliates promote your product. So if we go down here, go to manage promotion tools, 
and what we should see is um, just the default promotion tools you can set up more if you want to this is just what comes with the system and we'll go to the link here and open this in a new tab and what you will see is this is what the affi your affiliate will see okay when you when they come on board to promote your product they will have access to this dashboard now these are optional things but if you wanted to add um, some banners or articles you can do that but the most important thing is their affiliate link that's the link that they promote your product or service through so they ensure that they get the the uh, credits in terms of commissions and that link is up here in links we've only got one set up if we copy that as you would expect when we go to that link um, it goes through to the sales page and then you can see in the URL probably up here the affiliate ID so this sale will be tracked and if we go to the, the buy button you can see at the bottom here the referrer well it's me because I'm effectively promoting this product but it would be for whatever uh, affiliate is promoting at that time so when you want to invite affiliates to promote your product all you have to do is share the link that you find here with them that will enable them to get their affiliate link they'll also be able to see their stats all from that affiliate portal now on your side you can go and manage your affiliates in the affiliate section uh, that's where you can deal with payouts and uh, uh, look at each individual affiliate see how they're doing and what traffic they're sending and so on um, and there's also a reporting section here so you can see just your overall sales wherever they've come from these are just test sales um, that I made a little earlier um, so and the one actually earlier in this video so you can see uh, with the product name the price uh, if we scroll um, uh, across you can see the buyer details here and then the affiliate details as well so who referred these sales how much commission they got in return and you can see I think further on um, your profit as well which is obviously the other 50% that the customer paid now GrooveSell also sends out all the appropriate notifications this one would be to you because you've made a sale so this is to the vendor uh, this one is to the affiliate so you've made an a sale as an affiliate it just tells them the product the sale amount and their commission and this one is for the customer so when a customer buys something they get notified um, as well now do check out the links and resources below one of those is a link to my hook book which is a free guide that will help you get unique positioning in whatever market you're in there's nothing worse than being the same as all the rest and just blending in so to stand out in your market um, and really have a strong positioning in terms of marketing uh, that will really help you it's completely free that's in the links below as well I hope you found this helpful it's just something to consider um, you don't have to use it like I say I prefer Thrivecart myself but depending on your budget and where you're at uh, this might be something um, to consider that's why I wanted to make this for you love to hear what you think please just drop a comment below um, good bad any thoughts you've got uh, if you've enjoyed it uh, that would be really useful and uh, take care have a great day we'll talk soon